Hi everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. I'm so happy to have you here today. Before we get started, be sure that you're signed up for my free newsletter over at CorinneBlackstone.com. I have some exciting announcements coming that you won't want to miss out on. Now in today's video, we're going to learn how to make a SVG using Canva. I'm going to walk you through step by step every part of the process. So this is a great video for beginners. If you guys want more advanced videos, by all means, let me know in those comments down below. I will link Canva Pro down below for you as well. We're going to learn how to make this really fun little fall vibes design. And we are going to be using Inkscape, but don't worry. I'm going to walk you through every part and I'm going to show you why using Inkscape for this is so important. So let's go ahead and get started. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. To create an SVG using Canva is so easy. I promise you're gonna be able to do this. It's really simple. So first, you're gonna to wanna to log into Canva. Create a profile. You can do this for free, but I really do highly recommend getting Canva Pro, it is so worth the investment. And if you're a business, it is a business expense that you can write off on your taxes. So that's something you wanna keep in mind because it does make a huge difference. I will link Canva Pro down below for you. But we're gonna go ahead and make this. You can do this for free, it's just a little bit harder, um, but I'm gonna do this by using Pro. So the first thing that you'll wanna do is to create your page that you're going to work on. Now they have some template sizes right here, but you can also just simply go to custom size and choose whatever size you want. So I'm going to use the inches measurement and I'm just going to make a 12 by 12 measurement here just because that's the size of a design space area basically. You can use any size you want. I just find that 12 by 12 works pretty well and it gives me a decent amount of like options. Now here they have templates, but we're just going to ignore that because we don't want to use that. We're going to go over into the elements tab. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search the word fall and you can kind of search whatever vibe you're going for balloons or if you're going to do a party hat or whatever it may be, you're going to search for that under elements. It's important that you use elements, not photos, not videos, not frames. You want to go here under graphics. So what I do is I click see all. And then I wanna go up into my filter because I want to turn off any animated items because if you're using animated, they're not going to work. You need to use static items, so that's super important. Once you've filtered it, you can go back to your graphics and see all. Now these items, not all of them are going to work with the Cricut or the Silhouette or anything that you wanna make an SVG for because they're not all necessarily made to be a layered SVG. There is a difference between a graphic SVG and a layered SVG. So for example, this one here is not something that you could cut on your Cricut. And you can tell that by looking up here, right where it says edit photo. If you don't have the option to change the colors of your image, you're not gonna be able to cut this with your Cricut. You can see that this has lots of tiny lines, it's watercolor, so it's got lots of shading. Really easy way to tell you can't use that. Now, let's take a look at these pumpkins. Really cute, but again, can't use them as an SVG, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. Now, I think I wanna use this Fall Vibes design, and if you look right where it says Edit Image, right next door, I can change the colors. So this is an image that I can use with my Cricut. So I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna scroll through and just see if there are any other elements that I like that I could cut with my Cricut. Now these are cute, but if you'll note, I'm gonna make them bigger so you can see. They've got really jagged lines. The Cricut doesn't love that. Tons of colors, just not really it. Now I could absolutely simply change the colors on these, but I don't wanna use those. I don't really like them. So I'm just gonna kind of click through and take a look. Now see, here's another one. Also really cute, but again, a lot of little details and I don't wanna deal with that, it's just a pain. So we'll just kind of click through and find something that works for the design that we want. Now here are these fun leaves. These are only two colors and you'll see here they're a little bit small, but that's okay, they're pretty cute, something you could definitely use. But like I said, just go through and find things that don't have a ton of shading, a ton of colors. 
something like this I can't change the color on, but could still maybe work, but I don't think I like it. So we're gonna go ahead and find something that will work for what we want to use. Like this one, really, really cute, and I think this might work pretty well, but again, kind of boring. So I'm gonna find something fun. All right, so I found these little acorns, which I thought would be cute. So I'm gonna move my fall vibes around. And I'm gonna take these little acorns and I'm gonna put them down in this corner. And then I'd seen some leaves up towards the top that I had ignored, but I think might work and might be really cute. So I just need to find them. There's these leaves. So I thought those would work. Again, they're only two colors. They're pretty good. And we can always make them the same colors so that we're cutting less layers. Now you can kind of arrange this, do whatever you wanna do to it, add more acorns. But for now, we're just gonna keep it fairly simple from here what you'll want to do and this is why I recommend having pro because this is going to work so much easier if you have pro because you're not able to do this without it plus most of these elements are pro only if I were to filter this down to only the free items under price you can see here that under graphics I just don't have quite as much to choose from there's a few less items there's you know it's just not as good so I do recommend pro so what I want to do is under share, I want to click where it says download. Now under download, you can download it as a PNG, but you can't do it with a transparent background. So you'd have to go into design space, clean up all of the background, upload this color by color, which just sounds annoying. So I do recommend getting pro because you can download it as an SVG and then you want to choose transparent background. Then go ahead and click download. Now, once it opens up the folder, we can save it. I'm going to just save this as Fall Vibes. And simple as that, it's downloaded. Now, I am going to show you, we do want to take another step because Canva doesn't communicate with Cricut quite, quite right. And I'm going to show you what it looks like if we just upload it from here. So if I go to my Cricut and I click Upload Image and I browse for my image, I'm going to upload the Fall Vibes. And what I wanna show you is it's not gonna look quite right when we upload it, and it's gonna be a little crazy. So I'm gonna click Upload. I'm gonna select that image and add it to my canvas. Now, once it uploads, you're gonna see it's all discombobulated. It's not lining up correctly. You've got all these crazy things going on down here. It's just nuts. And then you have all these layers. So it's absolute utter chaos. We don't want utter chaos. So what we're gonna do is actually just delete this for now and I'm gonna take you over to Inkscape. You can download Inkscape completely free at inkscape.org. So we know we need to fix that file from Canva and I know that you're gonna be like, oh my God, I've never used Inkscape, I'm so afraid. I promise this is actually a lot easier than you think it is. So what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to file and we want to import our design. So you'll see here it says import. I'm gonna go into my quick access because it's just easier to find it and it's this top one, Fall Vibes. Now it looks perfectly fine here and you're thinking, well, but it didn't look like that in Design Space. It didn't because Design Space doesn't really communicate really great. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just shrink this down a bit just so that it fits within this printable area because when we save it, if you wanna see a preview of it, you need it to fit within that box. Now, what I wanna do is don't get intimidated, I promise this is so easy. Go up to object and the first option, which my mouse kind of gets in the way, is objects right here. Click on that and it's going to bring up your layers panel. This is your object panel. So this is pretty similar to design space. Now you'll notice that it's only showing us this G4128. If I expand that, do you see all of the craziness that is down here? That's each individual element of our design. So you'll see here that if I click on each one of these, it's giving us all these different weird elements. We definitely don't want that. So you'll see that each one of these also has little plus signs. What I want you to do is I want you to select this first layer and I want you to click, right click on it and click ungroup. Now it's gonna look a little bit crazy, don't worry. Now I want you to select each layer that has a G. So we're just gonna select those by holding control on our keyboard and select them. Then all you need to do is right click and I want you to click ungroup. Now I know it's gonna look a little bit crazy right now and it's gonna be a little intimidating, but I promise this is actually way easier than you think it is. 
What I want you to do from here is select each of the letters of the word fall because those are all the same color. You'll see over here in the path that it has selected them, they're gray. Right click on that and I want you to click group. You'll see that it changes it over here to G4168. If you double click on that, you can change the name and I'm going to name it fall. That's going to help us keep track of what we're working with. The next item we'll do is vibes. Now to select each item, I'm just holding shift on my keyboard and clicking them. Then I'm going over into the objects, right clicking and choosing group. Then again, double clicking to change the name. Hit enter when you're done. Now I kind of want to see these acorns right here. They're a little bit weird, a little awkward. Um, so what I wanna do with these, because they are three different parts, but I want them all to cut as one part. I'm going to go up here to go to path and I'm going to choose union. That's going to create this top of the acorn to be one piece instead of multiple pieces. Now I'm going to click undo really quick so you can see something. I'm going to just undo that union. So if I selected each of these, if, so if you look over on our objects, you'll see that it's three separate items here on the path, which we definitely don't want, and which is why we're gonna go to path and union. That's gonna make it one single object. Now, again, you can just change the name to acorn tops and be done with it. Now, another thing is too with using that union. So if I, I'm gonna show you it really quick when we're done here, kind of getting all the paths set. But you'll see in Design Space another option and why we want to union some things, but I want to leave it as is right now, just so you can see. So you'll see here too, we have the two acorns, which are separate pieces. And again, I don't want that. So I'm going to go to Path and I'm going to union them. And then I'm going to go over here and just change this to acorn bottoms. And then we have our two leaves, which are fine to stay as they are. So I'm going to go all yellow and we'll call this one, and I spelled yellow wrong, it's fine, and call that one orange. Now from here, you can save your design. So I'm gonna go to file and I wanna save it as, and I'm just gonna save it as the um, Fall Vibes SVG again. So I'm just gonna find that one and I'm just gonna replace it because it's fixing the original design. Now I'm gonna show you over in Design Space, but then I'm gonna come back here because I wanna show you something. So now we'll go over to Design Space and we're gonna upload it again. So this was our original one. And what I'm going to do is click upload image. I'm going to browse for it. And again, it's always my quick access. So I'm just going to do that. Now it's going to look exactly the same, but don't, but don't worry. It is different because remember how jumbled up and ugly that one was. If I upload this one and I click add to canvas, now what you're going to see is it looks so much more even. It's kept everything in place. Now you'll notice that we still have a lot of layers. That's where union comes in. If you're going to create this to sell, having less layers is typically a better option because we don't want all of these kind of jumbled up. And when people complain about their SVGs from Etsy, it's because whoever's creating the SVG is not following through with another step. Because if I click make it right now, what you're gonna see is it's going to make everything a big mess. So I've got this weird fall, I've got vibes all in the wrong place. The rest of the stuff should be fine because remember, we used union on the tops of the acorns and the bottom of the acorns. So let's head back over to Inkscape and union the words, and then I'll show you why that just works so much better. So now over here, what we'll need to do is we actually need to ungroup this again in order to create this to be a single image instead of having to make our person or ourselves have to attach it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to ungroup the word fall and I'm going to ungroup the word vibes. Then I'm just going to select each of these items again. I'm going to go to path and I'm going to do union. I'm going to do the same thing over here for fall. Click each item that is the same color and union. Now I could absolutely change the colors, do whatever I wanna do here, but I just wanna show you how to do this. So now that we fixed that problem, let's go ahead and click save and head back over to Design Space. Now over in Design Space, I'm gonna upload that image one more time and it's gonna still look the same from here. And when we click upload and you see the three together, you'll notice they all look exactly the same. But when I select this one, what you're gonna see is in that layers tab, it's going to be much more organized. It's not gonna be a huge mess. 
And now when I click make it or my person that I sell this to or give it to, they don't have to sit here and attach. Everything is attached so they don't have that extra step. Now, obviously, if you have something that's multiple colors, you don't want to union anything that's a different color. But this is a really easy way to design your own SVGs. Inkscape is a super handy tool and one that I highly recommend that you work with when you're making SVGs. Now you can see how we went from this fun design over in Canva, took it over to Inkscape, fixed it up, made sure that it was easy to work with and correct, and brought it into Cricut so that we're able to cut it out and make a really fun SVG. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please let me know in those comments down below. I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks to creating SVGs in Canva. I'm gonna link Canva Pro again down in the video's description for you. Like I said, I highly recommend it, especially if you wanna create SVGs with it. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, happy crafting.